So, um, could you please say something? Okay. I came here tonight because when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. Hi there. I'm the Evangelist. I want to make anime appeal to a broader audience by comparing it to a familiar genre, theme, or western work. And today, I'm going to date myself by comparing Nora Ephron's When Harry Met Sally to its anime counterpart, Horimiya. And like When Harry Met Sally, the anime's draw is the journey, not the destination. The series is about how these two end up together, and the humorous, relatable bumps along the way. Horimiya's title is a portmanteau of the main characters' names, Kyoko Hori and Izumi Miyamura, thus Hori and Mia. So there's no spoiler warning needed. And that's not some weird anime thing. That's right, I'm looking at you, Brangelina and Kim Yi stands. But beyond knowing the two couples will end up together from the start, the works share artistic sensibilities. There's obviously the meet cute at the beginning. Harry and Sally are headed to New York and ride together because of a mutual friend. Sorry! Hori and Miyamura meet because Hori's little brother gets a bloody nose, and Miyamura happens to be the nearest thing to an adult close by. Yep, that pop-punk walking piercing is in fact Miyamura. If you put back the glasses and squint a little bit, we get kind of a reverse she's all that situation. What I'm really getting at is how Horimiya captures Efron's ability to show a character's foibles and desires in a matter of seconds. All without beating you over the head with it. Take this scene where we meet Carrie Fisher's character, Marie. The first thing she gets into is how the married man she's seeing won't ever leave his wife. And when we find out Sally has just broken up with Joe, a long-term boyfriend, ten seconds of consolation and Marie jumps in with... You waited three days to tell Joe's us? Available? After the common sense admonishment for the tone-deaf question, she whips out a Rolodex full of single men trying to set Sally up. Marie's motivations, desires, and relationship to Sally is solidified in this one scene and preps you for the rest of the movie. Horamiya does the same. In the first episode, we meet Toru, a fellow classmate that has a crush on Hori. He's immediately jealous of Miyamura's budding friendship with Hori and pries into it. It takes two scenes instead of Carrie Fisher's one because she was just that awesome. But we quickly see Toru is just an insecure kid with a crush and was ready to do the stereotypically manly thing of pushing out the competition, only to fold like a napkin when Miyamura's positive masculinity and kindness overwhelms him. Seriously, how healthy is this exchange? So you won't mind if I ask her out? Come on, man. You don't need my permission for something like that. Guess not. Just felt right. That ball's in Horty's court. It's not my place. I'd say it's about as healthy as clicking that like and subscribe button. I hear the real Chads and Stacys are getting into anime now, and you'd hate to miss the next awesome series I covered just because you didn't get the notification. Both stories reveal these kind of healthy exchanges, along with a deluge of quirks and even some unhealthy stuff too. We've already touched a bit on Toru and Miyamura's friendship, but if you like the exchanges between Harry and Jess, I made love to this woman, and it was so incredible. I took her to a place that wasn't human. She actually me out. You made a woman meow? You are going to love the friendship of these two weirdos. But Horamiya isn't just silly or a Care Bears reunion. Oh, come on, this sermon's about an 80s movie. That's unfair. Gonna have to watch that Patrick Swayze Osha video again. Anyway, a little deeper into their relationship, Hori does the opposite of Miyamura. A classmate is trying to get her goat by insinuating that if Hori isn't dating Miyamura, he's fair game. The thought of this stupid harlot being the object of Miyamura's affection doesn't sit well. No, there's no dibs. He's mine. And Harry and Sally engage in this same kind of romantic preservation, just a little more passive-aggressively. Why do you have a hot date? Well, yeah, yeah. If you recall the Pictionary scene where they each bring a new date... Baby talk. Baby talk? Well, what's that? That's not a saying. Oh, but baby fish mouth is sweeping the nation. Harry asks about Sally's new guy, noting she hates baseball yet went to a baseball game with him. And Sally realizes that Harry's new date is a baking magnate. And he doesn't even like sweets. And this is where we can get into some differences between the two. 
The main difference is obvious, the age of the characters. Pretty much didn't have to say that, but it does change the dynamics of the story. Harry and Sally's marriage is 12 years and 3 months in the making, from post-college grads to young professionals. <laughs> oh, why'd you stop? Hori and Miyamura meet during what would be their junior year here in the States, and the story ends at graduation. So while the following exchange is because of post-divorce angst about Ira stooping his ex-wife, This stupid wagon wheel Roy Rogers garage sale coffee table! I thought you liked it. I was being nice! Or Mia's angst is teenage. Where do you fit in the world, the confusion of youth and self-doubt? Your feelings are involved, and they're having a huge impact on the truth you accept. Look here! You startled me, so my reflexes took over. Don't sweat the temper tantrum or the punch. The end result in each case is a thoughtful apology. Bros before ladies, after all. Hmm? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I am not calling Ori a hoe. I like living. That's really the crux of the anime. It's this idea of doubt and pigeonholing. But what kind of teenage dramedy would this be if we didn't have episodes that took the time to go into everyone's closet and drag out a few skeletons? Hori makes up for her mother's erratic work schedule by taking on caring for her younger brother and the housework. She's had to be an adult from a young age, and when she gets sick she's terrified she'll be left alone. Again. Miyamura has a history of being bullied, and the guy knows he's a little odd. He even did his first piercing himself. While I respect the hardcore that takes, the words and the jeers of his classmates clearly got to him. And even as his friendships and relationships grow and deepen, he recognizes he's a part of the group, but he doesn't feel like he's in it. And for anyone that doubts the seriousness of that theme, watch the opening credits. Look closely at the panels, the flashing lights in the center of the screen. Each character is placed by themselves into a panel looking none too happy about it. Miyamura seems to have the worst of it, literally stuck in a cube, sloshing around with nowhere to go. In a word, everyone is alone. Stuck. And I remember being that age back in 2000 and... Mm -hmm. I felt like I had to play a certain role. I couldn't deviate from the script or be anything that was outside of the external expectation. And if you feel that way, whether you're dealing with teenage hormones now or you're older, like me, I invite you to think back to English class and America's original emo, Walt Whitman. The past and present wilt, I have filled them, emptied them, and proceed to fill my next fold of the future. Listener up there, what have you to confide in me? Look in my face while I snuff the sidle of evening. Talk honestly, no one else hears you, and I stay only a minute longer. Do I contradict myself? Very well then, I contradict myself. I am large. I contain multitudes. He is more than piercings and emo-ness. She's more than a maid, chef, and responsible eldest child. This goofy bastard is tall, handsome, and a sensitive dude, full of potential. And you watching this are more than just my viewer, an anime watcher, a rom-com lover. Go out, grow, and be the fullest most awesome and contradictory self you can be. But, since this is about rom-coms, if you like character development, a good laugh, and a solid love story, Horamiya is the anime for you. There are links in the description on where you can watch Horamiya, and good news for old and new fans alike. Additional episodes by way of Horamiya The Missing Pieces are now available. And whether you've seen it a hundred times, like certain purple-haired weirdos, or you're brand new to the work of Nora Ephron. When Harry Met Sally is available for purchase or rental on most streaming platforms. Having a significant other is kind of weird. Your whole life you're strangers until one day you aren't. You have a couple of cats, you get a house, you start a YouTube channel. It's the American dream.